Hey, how's everybody doing today? This is Zen at uh, XRP Crypto Queen on Twitter and on YouTube where you're viewing this. It's Zen the Crypto Queen. I also have a Facebook page, Zen the Crypto Queen. So join me there as well. Um, this is not financial advice. I'm just sharing what I do, how I do research and what I pick and all that kind of stuff. Um, I just wanted to let you know that, um, in the description box is, has links to my free webinar and in that, uh, link to the free webinar, you can watch at your leisure and all my other links are there for anything that I mentioned during these processes, um, meaning like ledgers or any exchange that I talk about. Okay. Um, so it's right, all right there within that one link. So let's talk about uh, one way to look at your crypto every day. And that is, I just type in Bitcoin dominance today and there it is. It's at 42.7%. So that's 1.1 trillion. While the current market cap is above 2.7 trillion, that's a lot of crypto. And uh, that's a lot of cash. And so, you know, when people say that uh, they're not into crypto or, you know, they're not looking at it because it's not like a regular investment, I just think that that's too big to pass up to uh, not be involved in. And believe it or not, you're still an early adapter. So let's take a look at, stop emailing me. Uh, let's take a look at what the market's doing today. And um, Bitcoin actually shot up to, I think it was 69,000 as an all-time high earlier today. And uh, look at the volumes on this in the market cap here. 1.2. So um, things are going to get very interesting. I just wanted to warn you for November into December and notoriously January is a little bit of a drop off. But hey, you know, there are a lot of people and I speak to Bitcoin maxis all the time, um, Ethereum and Litecoin uh, maxis. Um, and they're not as maxi as Bitcoiners, but um, they're an interesting lot. Uh, I'm going to say that uh, Bitcoin has a chance to hit um, 100K before the year end. This is word on the street, okay? <coughs> Ethereum could go as high as 10,000. I don't know if that's by year end or by, um, some say, March of 2022. Uh, Litecoin, which I do not deal in Litecoin at all. So I'll let you take a look at that on your own. Let's see where it's at on this chart. Where is it? There it is, 267. And I heard it's going to hit 1,000. Uh, we, we can never guarantee when. Anybody who tells you a price prediction and a date, you know, well, they've got, uh, you know, their Pinocchio syndrome, okay? So um, I wanted to chat with you, though, about um, XRP. And it's down actually 6% right now. The interesting thing about the crypto market is 24-7, seven days a week. So you can stay on it or you could set up alerts on any number of platforms. Coin market cap, Blockfolio, uh, some of the exchanges that you use will have uh, market watches on them. And I just, I just set it up so when they go up by 5 or 10%, I get an alert on my phone. That's all I need to know. And, um, you know, really to me, unless it's going uh, parabolic, uh, I just don't care. But if it's down 10%, I have a chance to buy something, right? So let's take a look at the chart. This is my, this is the way I think about it. Uh, I have a big enough bag of XRP, so I'm not really looking to add to that. And 119 isn't where I would buy. I buy, bought plenty when it was way, way lower. Uh, polka dot's a good buy. Uh, Doge, I've got a lot of that. And um, during its last run, um, it was very, very good to me. Um, I just got some Shiba, hmm, how many months ago? I don't know, several. Um, and I bought some Floki, believe it or not. Um, I just thought it'd be interesting to... Uh, play around with and buy and hold because when I bought my doge two plus years ago I really didn't think it was going to do anything and then suddenly 
it did very well. So, you know, these things, you never know. Um, I, uh, some people call them shit coins. Some people call them sub coins. And I call them sub sub coins when they're way less than a penny. But there's a few. Um, actually, VeChain is a good buy today. Vet. Um, so is Stellar, XLM. Uh, Tron is down 6%. Yeah, that's a good one, too. Uh, Theta, actually, is one I've been looking at. I'm going to read the white paper on that. I find that stuff really dry and boring, but hey, you know what? You got to do it. Um, I'll come back to that in a sec. Um, Mana is in a good way right there. Um, Iota as well. Wow. So I have a few things that I can go in and purchase today. Um, I keep most of my coins, I think I've mentioned this many times before, in the ISO uh, 20022 because uh, they are um, a specific financial uh, rating and um, it makes sense to me. You know, it's it's got uh, an international link to something, something solid, and um, it's a... It's an international, oh God, let's look up what ISO, I always get tripped up on this. ISO, there we go. Let's take a look at it. Okay, so used by all financial standards. Um, and so what is it? There it is, international standard prepared by ISO Technical Committee TC68 Financial Services. Okay, so it's a standard by which things work. Okay. And a lot of these coins simply are not, but, uh, there's ways to check them out. And if I like the project, I buy it anyway. Right. So here's theta. Uh, I'll kick it into the white paper later and read that because for me, a lot of that is very dry. I've read several of them over the years and, ugh, you know, and look at where the price is right now. Um, so I would read all of this and uh, decide, why am I getting all these notifications? Okay, I would take a look at who the founders are, what makes it unique, what's the circulation, and all of that. It's an ERC-20 coin, meaning it's on the Ethereum network. Okay, and where can you buy it? And here's our, okay, I can get it on KuCoin, okay. Uh, and right now, I don't know how you feel about all of these um, exchanges. Binance, I do not use. I never trusted Binance, and they've been through some uh, crazy stuff. Um, and I just don't like them. I've I used the European one with a VPN at certain periods in time, and then they started cracking down on that. So always be careful when you're using an exchange and you uh, need to use a VPN on it, okay? That's why I use KuCoin now. So I'm going to look into Theta. I'll let you know and keep you posted on how I feel about that. Uh, once again, this wasn't financial advice. I'm just showing you what I do uh, on the daily to see what I want to buy. Um, and that's pretty much it. Uh, if you have questions or would like a video on something specific, even if it's a, you know, kind of a training on what um, to do, you know, I did one on moving your crypto to Ledger and that one was quite popular. So let me know if there's anything you want me to do a video on. And in the meantime, you can check out my free webinar. It's in the description of this video and all of the links to anything you might possibly need, including some exchanges, are in there. So thanks for being with me. I appreciate your time, and I will chat with you again real soon. Ciao.